Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here at the TAC booth at SC12 in Salt Lake City. I'm here with Lars from TAC, the Texas Advanced Computing Center. So Lars, let, let's just start at the beginning. For people that might not know, who is TAC and who do you help? Yeah, so my name is Lars Kostek. I'm in the HPC group at TAC. TAC is one of the premier super uh, computer centers in the country, and we serve the whole nation and technically the whole world because uh, our collaboration uh, uh, PIs in the US have international collaborators. And so we are basically helping the open science community all over the world to pr and we are providing not only top-notch resources but we are also providing all the knowledge so that our users can make re get really the best experience and the best performance out of these amazing clusters that we that we have well that's terrific so you know we had a big announcement this week from intel the intel xeon phi and at the same time the the the, the stampede supercomputer attack so my question for you Lars. I understand you've been using Knights Ferry, right? You were one of the early adopters of this. Can you tell me about that experience? Yeah, so we we had a partnership with Intel and Dell from day one yeah. to build a, a system that will showcase the, the amazing capabilities of the mic. And um, Intel was very interested in tech because we have the reputation for getting things done on an unprecedented scale. and. Uh, also with an unprecedented uh, user experience. So I was responsible, a very small part in this, in this uh, team of amazing people, to write the very first kernels on Knight's Ferry that we then used in the proposal to NSF to pitch the experimental part of our cluster. So we pitched that to be the Intel mic. And we won then the proposal and then we kicked it into high gear and the cluster is designed to deliver two plus petaflops base, Sandy Bridge, and seven plus petaflops on the mic. Terrific, so I want to ask you about your experience when you know working with the applications like you have and moving them from where they used to live just on the x86 yes. to this co-processor environment, kind of a different animal. What was that like? It is a different animal, but it is still very similar. So the amazing thing about mic is you can take any code and just recompile it for the mic. It doesn't mean that the performance is good, but you can get it to run virtually within minutes or hours, library dependencies notwithstanding. So now you, you saved a lot of time technically porting your code. Now you can spend all this wonderful time on optimizing your code. Mm. And I'm telling you, there's no free lunch. You have to do some optimization to get good performance. But you have a head start because your application basically runs on day one. Yeah, yeah, so I mean, because these codes, you know, running on the Xeon, there's multiple cores, there's parallelism already there, and you're taking it to the next level, aren't you, when you do that? Yes. So any CPU or any mic provides parallelism on two levels, multi-core and then the vector unit within the core. Now, the mic provides more cores and it provides a, lot, a wider vector unit. So you have to work on both aspects of parallelism and you have to improve scaling on a core and you have to improve scaling on an uh, what was formerly an SSE instruction is now AVX on Sandy Bridge and something different. I don't even know the name on Mike. Okay, so, you know, Legacy, I was an old Sun guy and working with the TAC Ranger when you guys had that yes. machine. And I remember a number of applications you had to deal with was something like crazy, some big number. Oh, is that going to be the case here with Stampede as well? Yes. So we have hundreds of users, thousands of users and hundreds of applications on Ranger. Ranger will be turned off a month after Stampede goes into production and all the allocation will be with some um, um, adjustment will be uh, uh, moved onto Stampede. So we will have exactly the same users plus more because we are now providing so many more capabilities that we, we get requests every day.